Hey guys, Fatsu here. Welcome to Paranormal Pursuit, The Gifted One. They'll come for you soon. Stay here. to make a call. I need to make a call. This kid got some weird power. Child protective surfaces. Hello, child protective service. Hello, I need to report an instance of child abuse. Address, please. 27 Riverside Street. 27 Riverside Street. Sir, tell me your name. I need to visit that house as soon as possible. And we are here. Hello, Samantha Evans, Child Protective Service. May I come in? Hello. Um, yes, of course. Come in. So, Mr. Jason Clark. I'm a police officer in this district. We received an anonymous call about child abuse taking place at this location. Child abuse? No children live here. The caller was mistaken. Okay, um, I see a backpack. This definitely belongs to a child. Is he lying to me? And also some snacks. Does anyone else live with you? No, I live alone. I'm divorced. I think he's lying to me, but why? Also pictures here. You have a son, right? Yes. His name is Kevin. He lives with his mother. I haven't seen him in several years. If you've run out of questions, I have things to do. I'm sorry for disturbing you, Mr. Clark. Clearly the caller was mistaken. Something strange is going on, but Mr. Clark won't tell me anything. I'll have to find out for myself. Yes. Oh, uh, anything in the mailbox? Newspaper. So famous Laura Young, a child prodigy who delighted our district with her amazing memory, was kidnapped. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Her kidnappers haven't claimed anything yet. At the same time, there are no news about Emma Parker, a five-year-old pianist with phenomenal hearing. Hmm. So we got a bunch of kids with paranormal powers, and they are being kidnapped. Hmm. Is that why the father is hiding that kid in the basement? Open the garage door. Open sesame. I need something to back that gate. Hmm. Need a garage opener. <laughs> oh, I see a key. I could really use that key right now, but I can't reach it. And gate. Is a wire. I know, I know. Private property. And. Oh, we got a hook. Okay. Grab that key. Okay, what key is this? To the front door? Oh, the gate key. Uh-huh. To the backyard. Alright. Search the cellar. What was that? I knew something was wrong. I yep. need to call the police. Bad timing, as always. <laughs> Tough luck. 
So, task company suspicious behavior. And to make an emergency call. So I need to call the police and I can't unbend it with my hands. I need a tool, some kind of wire wrapped around the handles. Yeah, let's grab this plank. And I got a bag of plaster. Huh, is there a phone booth around? Maybe here? Yep, call the police. Don't poke your nose into this matter, Ms. Evans. For your sake, I suggest you leave. So the police are involved. Then I'll have to save the boy on my own. Hmm. A conspiracy going on in this town. So new task, rescue the boy by any means necessary. Oh, uh, nice parking. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> And it's hot, I don't want to burn my hands. So, um, the garage door, can we use the plank here? Yes. Now we can go in. Huh, a safe. I need a special key, a police badge? Oh, great. What do I do with this? I don't know. Oh, place it here? Anything interesting up there? Uh, flashlight. Oh, a valve! Uh huh. Just what we need. And... Got an empty bowl? We can make a police badge here. A mold for making a key, so I can make my own key. We do have a bag of plaster, but uh, we need water. So let's go back outside. Let's turn off the water. Let's turn off the hot water first. And now we can use a bowl. Uh huh. Get some water. And a scoop. Oh, a shovel. Time to make that police badge. Okay, um, examine the bag of plaster. Maybe use the shovel? Let's just go. So, place the bowl of water here. And then the shovel. Um. Okay, just like that. And we got a plaster badge. As easy as that. <laughs> and a knife. Hmm. And some folders which I cannot examine. Huh. And a utility knife. Huh. And now we have Y cutters. Uh huh. So let's go back to the side. Um, I think I can cut the wires with this. All right, here we go. Let's be careful now. This kid could be dangerous. My name is Samantha. Don't be scared. I want to help you. What's your name? I'm Kevin. Kevin, did your father lock you in here? He's not my father. Jason is my stepfather. I don't have parents. I see. Well, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Why did Jason lock you in here? He... he said someone is going to come and take me away. He told me to stay here until I come for me. No one is going to take you away. I won't let them. Huh. 
Maybe he's trying to protect him from the kidnappers. How did you make those things fly? I don't know. I just thought it, and then it happened. I can't explain it. And this dark room? Kevin, what's in that dark room? Another way out? No, just washing machines and other junk. Okay, and up here. I'll try to open the lock and get us out of here, okay? Okay. I know you can do it. So, task complete. Rescue the boy and new one. Breaking and entering. <laughs> This lock will be easy to open. Really? Well, you see if I got a key. <laughs> and... No way, if I press that, I'll lose my light. The fuse box. Um, I seem to have disabled the socket. Well, that is what I needed to do. And I better not do that. Someone might hear the washing machine. Huh. So a secret compartment here. And we got a dead battery. Okay, there is some socket here. I'll secure it first and then we can touch it. Probably need to charge this dead battery. For what though? I need to get out of here as fast as I can. Hey, this guy uses tape to close his boxes. No tricky locks, thank god. Can I use a pocket knife? This utility knife. Um, change it back to the knife. There. <laughs> and here is a lantern. Hmm. What about this one? Um, light bulbs, lamps. One more. And... Insulating tape, aha. Uh -huh. We can repair the wires. So, can we charge the battery? Let's turn the power back on. Is it charging? Yep. And it's done. So, this lantern here. The lamp isn't going to like this. Going to like what? <laughs> Putting back the lamps? The light bulbs. And now, the battery. Aha. Uh -huh. And we got a working lantern. So, can we illuminate this dark area? And here is a slingshot. Let's put it back. Aha. Uh -huh. A hidden object scene. Alright, we're looking for shapes. Saw? Hammer. Someone's gone crazy and is locking everything inside. This and obviously belongs to Mr. Clark. Perhaps it contains something that can help me to open the door. Huh. And inside the washing machine is a key. To open this, I need to drain water. This won't work if the machine is switched off. Uh, let's put a plug back in. Mr. Clark ran out of logs. He closed this with whatever he had on hand. <laughs> and there's something in there, but the clock lid jammed. And right here, we got a razor. Cut open this screen. So, got a handle, and also wire cutters. So let's put it back. And one way just missing. Hmm. It's water up tight. Okay, we can use a saw. And it's stuck. I can't pull it out on my own. Let's use a wire cutters. And it's a hammer. Okay, let's use a hammer here to pry open this drawer. I believe that is an extension card, uh huh. Let's plug the washing machine back. And 
now you can grab that key with the yellow tag. <laughs> it's here on the shelf. And a clock weight. Okay, so... Aha, uh -huh, this opens up, and we can grab that um, cross-shaped key. And here is that lockpick. Lockpick tools to be used here, of course, on this door. 